back to my channel. Today I want to celebrate National Hispanic Heritage Month. and This runs from September 15th through October 15th every year. This is the perfect time to learn about the incredible people, events, ideas, and achievements contributed by Hispanic Americans in our country. So today I want to share with you book characters, authors, illustrators to help celebrate National Hispanic Heritage Month. The first book that I have is Digging for Words. And this is based on the true story of Jose Alberto Gutierrez and the library that he built. Senor Jose was a trash collector and along his roots, he discovered that people were throwing away books. So instead of throwing them into the garbage, he pulled them out, rescued them, and created a library of his own at his own house. In this story, we also learn about young Jose, a little boy who looks forward to Saturday every week because that's when Senor Jose's library is open. And he gets so excited to go and explore the books in this library. This book is a celebration of perseverance, community, and the power of books. So I bet you can guess that this is one of my favorites from this collection that I'm sharing with you today. And this next book actually has the same illustrator as Digging for Words. This one is called Planting Stories. And again, it's about the power of books and sharing stories with others. This is a beautiful story of the life of Pura Belpre. And she was a librarian in New York City. Pura helped diversify children's literature by publishing stories, curating puppet shows, and planting seeds of change in the early 1920s. She worked hard to not only make space for herself, but for her culture within the walls of her library. Beautiful story to share. And I actually had the pleasure of meeting the author of this book, and it was so neat to hear the process that she went through to create this story about this amazing woman. A great read aloud to share with your class this month. This next book is also a biography, but this one is about a young girl who was an amazing piano player. Dancing Hands is about Teresa Carreño, who was a child prodigy. She was an amazing musician. She started playing music because it brought joy to not only herself, but those around her. And as she became better and better at playing the piano, she was invited to play in cathedrals and theaters all over. And eventually, she was invited to the White House to play music for Abraham Lincoln. A powerful story to share with your students. The next book that I have is a little bit longer, but it is a beautiful story and I highly recommend sharing it with your students because I think some of them will connect with it. This one is called Island Born. In this story, Lola's teacher asks each of the students in the class to draw a picture of where their family immigrated from. But the problem is, Lola was so young, she doesn't remember where she's from. But with the help of her family, friends, and their memories, she is able to take a journey back to the island learn what it was like. And her abuela shares, just because you don't remember a place doesn't mean that it isn't inside you. And the illustrations in this book are absolutely gorgeous. Island Born is a great read aloud for Hispanic Heritage Month. The next book that I have is Alma and How She Got Her Name. And I know many people read this during back to school time and it's a powerful book about celebrating who you are and where you came from. So Alma Sofia Esperanza, Jose Pierre Candela, feels like her name is a bit of a mouthful and she's not sure how much she really likes it. But then her father sits her down and teaches her about each of her ancestors from which all the parts of her name come from. And she realizes how truly wonderful her name is. This is a great story about identity, pride, and family. The next book that I have is My Poppy Has a Motorcycle. Daisy loves to zoom around her neighborhood with her poppy on the back of his motorcycle. And on their trips, she sees people and places that she's always known all her life, that she's always been a part of. But the community is starting to change around her, but she realizes throughout the story that some things, like the love of her poppy, her family, and her friends, never change. This story is a young girl's love letter to her hardworking father and that feeling of home that we always carry with us. This next book might make you a little bit hungry. Nachos, Nachos. This story tells us about the inventive chef and the events that led up to the creation of this very popular snack. We learn about how young Nacho loved to cook 
and eventually he got a job at a restaurant. He was a head waiter and one day a customer came in and said, I want something different, something that we haven't had before. So Nacho heads into the kitchen and gets creative and out comes this delicious plate of nachos. This would be fun to have a snack with your students while you read the book aloud, because I know you will all be hungry by the end of it. And this next book that I have, I have shared before, Evelyn Del Rey is Moving Away. So this is a sweet story about that last day before your best friend moves away. You wanna make the most of it, but it's also a little sad at the same time. These two girls spend one last afternoon together doing all of their favorite things, and at the end, they promise to keep in touch, and you'll have to read the story with your class to find out if they really do keep that promise. This book of friendship is another great read aloud to share with your students. So I hope that you'll be celebrating National Hispanic Heritage Month with your class, and that you'll be using picture books to do so. There are so many other books to choose from, but these are just a couple of my favorites that I wanted to share with you today. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button down below, and I will be back next week with more read aloud tips and book ideas for you to share in your class. Have a great week.